Meanwhile, in the Dewan Rakyat, Zulkifli noted that spending on the purchase of medicines in 2023 increased by 30% over eight years, reaching 3 billion ringgit compared with 2.3 billion ringgit in 2015. According to the Pharmacy Services Programme Statistics Report, he said a total of 23.25 billion ringgit has been spent on purchasing medicines from 2015 to 2023. Peningkatan peruntukan kewangan ini adalah selari dengan kenaikan harga ubat-ubatan, pertambahan bilangan pesakit dan penggunaan ubat-ubatan baru yang mengikut kepakaran yang lazimnya masih dalam tempoh peten. KKM juga mengunjurkan jumlah perbelanjaan yang diperlukan untuk menampung keperluan ubat-ubatan di fasiliti-fasiliti KKM akan terus meningkat pada tahun-tahun ke depan ini. Addressing the issue of medicine security in the country, he said several strategies have been developed based on the national medicines policy under the access to medicines component. These include ensuring the availability of medicines listed under the National Essential Medicines List, prioritizing the evaluation and registration of products, and improving supply chain transparency through the development of a pharmaceutical product tracking and tracing system. The ministry is also collaborating with all stakeholders to identify the strengths of the local pharmaceutical industry, which will be recommended during the development of the action plan and implementation of the ASEAN Drug Security and Self-Reliance Strategic Collaboration.